Greetings, my name is Alfarius and today we have reveals for the last loyalist faction to be joining our forces at Istvan against the traitors. I am of course talking about the Alpha Legion. The time of its arrival is drawing ever closer, so let's not waste any more time and start with the first card. First up, we have an unidentified legionary. He appears to be a 4 energy Astartes with 4 attack, 4 HP, stealth, as well as the relentless ability to draw a card. While his exact identity remains a mystery, it does appear that he is fighting for our cause, providing valuable resources over the course of battle while remaining hidden at first. However, his true motives remain unknown. Next up, I regret to inform you all of the passing of one of the Legion's strongest soldiers. Earlier this month, Legion Command was notified that the Honorable Ghost Legionary was mortally wounded in battle and sadly will not be able to join the fight at Istvan anymore. Let us take a moment of silence to honor his sacrifice for the Emperor. Now moving on, I do have some good news. His mortal remains were luckily in decent enough condition to be interred in a dreadnought shell, so even in death he can still continue to fight against the traitors in his own way. He is now called Ancient Inigo and is a 5 energy vehicle with 3 attack and 6 HP that gains plus 1 attack and plus 2 HP every time we draw a card. Due to this recent development, our fallen brother still needs some time to adjust to his new circumstances, leading to some underwhelming stats early on, but given the time, I am sure he will develop into a more than capable and fearsome warrior not to be underestimated. Next up, we have the Azure Serpent Tank, a 9 energy vehicle with 9 attack and 8 HP, as well as the rally ability to deal 2 damage to a random opponent, which then is repeated for every card in our hand. This new tank will be a great tool in a fight against the traders at Istvan, a potential 22 damage to the entire enemy board, or the enemy warlord if our allies of the Iron Hand, Salamanders and Raven Guard are able to hold the enemy troops in check. The amount of firepower is simply incredible and I would make sure that every commander is using this new weapon in our fight against the Iron ha against the Iron Warriors. Finally, dear brothers, I am pleased to announce the new legionary armor. I've taken inspiration from my personal design used in earlier years, right when we joined the forces of the Great Crusade. The new Alpha Legionary will still have 2 attack and 35 HP with medium initiative, but his ability is now going to be 1 energy, both players draw a card. Of course, every one of you will immediately see the resemblance of my own personal armor that I used to allow me to force the opponent to draw a card and then create a copy of it in my own hand, also for 1 energy. Sadly, over time we had to make adjustments and increase the cost of doing so to 2 energy, but I do think this will be a great addition to our lines and I expect to see it all over Istvan. Now then brothers, let's no longer waste any time waiting. It is time to defeat our foes at Istvan. Hydra Dominatus, for the Emperor. Well Ingo, do you believe the loyalist dogs suspect anything of our betrayal? We will be the hidden dagger in the shadows, turning the drop site into a massacre so that all of Istvan shall fall into the shadow of the War Master. Uh, wait, what do you mean? The Vox is still on. 